Hello everyone, I am the Ron and Only, and there's no boy I'd rather be. Welcome back to part six of my let's play of... Pokemon Shield for Nintendo Switch. Last time in part six, we arrived here in Turfield, uh, where after going through Route 4 and catching a bunch of brand new Pokemon, we arrived to take on uh, the first gym in our gym challenge against Milo, where we whooped his butt with our amazing Dotler. And now we're on to Route 5 and the next gym, the Water Gym, which we're pretty much, you know, ready for. Um, we can go back to the wild area and catch a bunch of brand new Pokemon as well. Well, brand new Pokemon and much higher level Pokemon as well. Um, but first up, there was that riddle earlier that I had trouble with last time trying to figure out what that little girl was on about. And after, you know, <clears throat> a quick Google search, uh, I mean, no, I mean uh, uh, my deductions, Grass is strong against, wait for it, whoops, water, which water is strong against, wait for it. Wait for it. Fire! There's something buried in the ground. You obtain an expert belt. It is a held item that is well known belt that slightly boosts the power of super effective moves. So you give it to a Pokemon and you know that Pokemon's gonna be super effective against another Pokemon. Those boosts, those attacks are boosted. So it's very useful, very handy. Anyway, we've got a bunch of new Pokeballs, we've got a bunch of uh, money, and we beat the gym. Time to train up to take on our next gym, which Fracky is going to be amazing at. Um, currently the team is doing pretty well. Um, I think some, I think Chewtor or Yamper is close to evolving. I'm pretty sure. So let's swap Tootle and Yamper up to the top. Give Corvusquire and Dotler some much needed rest, or especially Dotler after its gym challenge. Uh, you can, you hang back, buddy. Uh, Fwacky, you're gonna be waiting in the wings because I need to train you up. Um, and Yamper as well, actually. Yamper needs to, actually, yeah, let's swap you around then. Yamper and Fwacky, let's just put you two to the top and start training you for the next gym. So let's head out onto Route 5. And maybe we've got some trainers. Time for a special interview with a gym challenger. The best way to get to know you is a Pokemon battle, of course. Good Pokemon and trainers really shine on camera. So like in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, we get uh, Ah, oh, Jillian and Cam. I think it was like get a uh, Tabby and like Tab and something. I can't remember. But is that a new Pokemon on his T-shirt? Looks like one. Anyway, in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, you attack the uh, Clink and a Heliop tile. Cool. Electric Ground type and Steel type. Uh, we don't have anything that can take on a Steel type, do we? <laughs> um, let. Uh, no, we don't have anything they can take on a steel type. Uh, okay. This is going to be an interesting fight. Um, let's just bite Clink. Um, and we'll. I should have taught Magical Leaf to Whacky. That would have been much easier in this fight. Let's just do Razor Leaf. See how we do. Crick will hit on Clink. And a really good hit on Heelop Tile, even. So that Mud Sport, yep, actually fell. Should have done a bite on the Heelop Tile, but okay. 
Uh, let's just do bite. The hip tile. Take you. I'll take you by his guys both out with razor leaf. Nice. Yamper and Frack can get to level 22. Simples. It's hard to describe it in just a few words. What incredible potential. I lost. Does that mean the interview is ruined? You know, you can still interview me after the battle. With your strength, you're sure to keep winning during the odd gym challenge. Please let me get an interview again sometime. Your Pokemon look great even when I viewed them through the camera. So I think it was Gabby and Taz or something like that. I can't remember what their actual names was. Tabby and something. Um, but they would interview you in Pokemon, Mega Ru Ru uh, Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire and Pokemon Mega Ruby after Al Alpha Sapphire. And if you go to a TV and go to a house and go on TV, uh, watch the TV, you'll actually see... Well, you won't see yourself, but you'll hear the battle of what you last said. And they'll be able to... It's like, describe... Hey, hey, how'd that battle go for you? And you'll be able to just use some words to describe what you said. It's kind of funny. Nice little gimmick. But they would appear over and over and over... Um, during your bat during your journey in Pokemon Ruby and Sapphire, um, so maybe we'll see those guys again. Maybe we'll maybe they will get stronger as well. They had some pretty powerful Pokemon on the team, um, and here we have a brand new Fairy type Pokemon to catch. It's a Spritzy. Let's go, Yamper. It is a Fairy type Pokemon. Uh, let's see if a Quick Ball will catch it. Nice! Spritzy was caught. It's a pure fairy type perfume Pokemon. There's some stuffle. We've already caught some stuffle. What's over here? I'll oh, just an item. Shed shell! Allows the Pokemon to switch out battle without fail. Cool. Uh, there's another Spritzy. What's in the tall grass? Oh, a Doppler! Stuff on Spritzy, leave me alone! What's down here? A female Wobbuffet. Now, I've got to be careful with these guys, uh, with these guys, with these guys, because they will hurt you back if you try and attack them. Level 19, let's just try and catch it in a quick ball. Get it over and done with. Oh, wow, instant capture. Ah, oh, almost. I thought it normally shakes like that in the air if it's going to be an instant capture. Um, okay, so it is a psychic type, so hopefully Bite won't knock it out. You yeah, know, it's got a lot of HP. It's going to use counter anyway. Flinch couldn't move, which is great. Um, that's it. Stay flinched. Ah, here comes Miracote. But it failed because Miracote's for super effective, not for physical. Uh, for physical, it's counter that it uses. Is it going to be smart enough? Nope. Still quite dumb. I think we'll just do tackle. And actually, it'll uh, enable us to catch it. Yeah, here we go. Uh, one more tackle. Destiny Bond. Now, that's an annoying move. That means if it faints, it takes me down with it, which is not entirely great. We are stronger than it, so let's try this ball. A no, that's a, that's a definite no. Uh, okay, Mirico, that's fine. We'll just use a Great Ball. Blue Pokemon for a blue Pokeball. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Bobbuffet, the psychic type Pokemon, patient Pokemon, to keep its pitch black tail hidden, it lives quietly in the darkness, it, it never, it's never first to attack. So there's a theory that it's, um, 
tail is the actual Pokemon because it has eyes on the back of its tail. And Wobbuffet isn't actually this blue thing. It isn't actually the Pokemon. Yeah, it's kind of a cool theory. This one has red lipstick on. Should give it a silly nickname. Three heal balls. Ah, Esper! It is a psychic, psychic cat Pokemon. Which is perfect for my dog. Yumper! Just knock it out, the Yamper. Be a good boy. I should use a quick ball. I don't know why I didn't use a quick ball. I keep forgetting I have them. Will you go to level 22? Catching up with the rest of them. Good little sheepy. Restraint Pokemon. Psychic. That's an, there's enough psychic power in Esper to send a wrestler flying, but because its power can't be controlled, Esper finds it troublesome. Poor Esper. Poor little like, psychic cat thing. Uh, so there's more spritzy, more stuffle. More stuffle than I know what to do with. So is this the way I'm supposed to be going? Because I have no clue. Because it looked like it's supposed to be a straight line. I was supposed to go this way. The Pokemon Nursery. You, you found the right place to come for all of your Pokemon egg finding needs. Yeah, there's the bridge that is, takes me to Nessa. Yes, yeah, so there's a route. Okay, there is a route I can take. I can go down this way and battle the, you know, the... There's a Minch... Oh, we have a Minchino! Why do I battle this thing? I do already have it. I need to heal up Yamper as well. Let's battle the Chef. Oh! Oh! I found a trader whilst gathering berries! Cook Stewart and his Acklin. What? <laughs> it, that's a Pokemon? It's an apple with eyes. That's a Pokemon. It's an apple with eyes. What? So you're a grass type then. Uh, okay. Uh, well, you pluck an apple from a tree, so... This is crazy! What is you? An apple with eyes. Look at his little teeth! Astonish. And it has a tail. It has a tail. We plucked that apple. <laughs> like... Is it, what type is it? It's gotta be a grass... It's not a grass dragon type, you think? With a name like Applin. I should have given my Pokemon a berry when its HP got low. You probably should have. Speaking of which, I need to give my Pokemon some more berries. What is an Applin? Let's do some fishing. Fish, 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 fishy. A Goldeen! At least it's the magic up. <laughs> nice! Instant capture! Goldeen was coarse. Corpse Guy grew to level 23. Go 
Geraldine, classic water type Pokemon. What else can we find on this route? Some stuff all as an item. Attracts, nice. Any new Pokemon? I want to find an Applin. What is the frig is an Applin? <laughs> Let's check the Pokedex. Nilsery, yep. Pumpkaboo, Pikachu, Eevee, Applin. Grass Dragon. Where? I can catch you here. I can catch you here. Grass, Grass Dragon. Grass Dragon. What? We've never had a Grass Dragon type. That is crazy. Patina. Psychic type. Okay. Crazy. How do I catch you? Do I shake a tree? Do I shake a tree and you just appear? Or do I have to find you? There you are! Excellent, Applin. Okay, you're a grass dragon type. That is fantastic. Uh, yeah, let's just waste no time. The craziest Pokemon. What? Gotcha, Applin was caught. Also, I love that I was right. I like totally predicted what type it was going to be. Grass Dragon, Apple Core Pokemon. Since it's born, it burrows into an apple. Not only does the apple service its food source, but the flavor of the fruit determines its evolution. That is so cool. A Grass and Dragon type. Do I want to add you to my team? I already have a Grass type. <laughs> Maybe for Wooloo? But Wooloo could evolve as well. What can Wooloo... I want to see what Wooloo evolves into. I'm so... What does Applin evolve into? I'm so excited. Oh my god. You are very cool, Applin. I'm gonna... Check you out later, though. Okay. Uh... Have to go back and catch Sizzlipede if I want one. But that is so interesting. More magic up. Let's battle some more trainers. I'd like to show you my Pokemon that I've grown so well. Pokemon breeder Deborah. And her Minchino. Let's go, Yamper. Show off your brand new spark. Attack fell, but that's okay. Nice. That was a cute little twirl you did, Yamper. Whee! Steeny. I don't know what you are. Okay, evolution of Bounce Wheat. Okay. Grass type. No, keep. This might not kill it, I was going to say. Uh... 
That's better. There we go. Shoot to level 22. And defeated Pokemon Breeder Debra. I wasn't sure which moves to use and got lost in four. <gasps> yes! Tootle is evolving! What are you becoming, my tiny turtle? Dreadnought! Yes! Awesome! Look at this thing! He's so cool! Dreadnought! Water and a rock type! Neat! This Pokemon rapidly extends its reachable, retractable neck to sink its sharp fangs into distant enemies and take them down. Neat. And what's to learn Rock Tomb? Nice! Uh, let's get rid of... I kind of like you having Protect. Nah, I don't... I hate using Protect anyway. I never use Protect. One, two, three, and ta-da! Dreadnor learnt Rock Tomb. We also can learn Rock Blast because we have the TM for it. Uh, the TR for it. Let's go, uh... But look at him. He's awesome. Dreadnor. Water Rock Type. I do like my Water Rock Types. Um, the Caracosta that was in um, Generation uh, 5. He was a cool Pokemon. Okay. My partner's Pokemon's been been growing in a really unique way. Check it out. You're challenged by Pokemon breeder Adrian. Sends out his Stuffle. Let's go, Yampa. Uh, yeah, you're a... Stuffle's a fighting type. Yes. Just spark it. Paralyzed, nice. Good job, Yampa. Yampa, I thought you'd let the headbutt. Maybe not. Cracking into level 23, very nice. Send out Rolts. Uh, okay, now we're going to show off Dreadnor. Go Dreadnor! Yeah, look at this boy. Rolts is a pure psychic type, so let's take it down with a bite. One hit KO. Look at the power on this boy now. He was slow. He got faster. Dot logo to level 23 as well. Next is a cutie fly. Uh, very bug type. Actually, no, he could have... Bug a week against rock, so he could have used Dreadnought. <laughs> Uh Yeah, I know, let's just switch back to Dreadnor. <laughs> Sorry, Corvus Squire. Oh, but it's gotta absorb. That's okay, look at the HP we've got on Dreadnor now. Look at it. Let's just do a rock tomb. Down it goes. We didn't have to spend it anyway, so that was a stupid switch. So I should have switched to Corvus Core. Corvus Squire. Corvus Corvus Core? Corvus Squire. Pokemon are living creatures after all. You can't always race them how you want. Very true. Let's go to the Pokemon Nursery. Nice to see some new face around. Is this the Pokemon Nursery? We take a people to Pokemon here. When people like leave two Pokemon with us, we sometimes find eggs. Uh Ooh, uh. Yes. Whoa, who are you? 
Tox Tox. Dragon and Tox. Poison Dragon. It's a Toxel, a real Toxel. I found an egg and it carried around with me. And it and carried around it with me. And it hatched into a Toxel. Why don't you raise it? It's a real shocking Pokemon. I received a Toxel! Okay. What is the Toxel? Electric poison type? Electric poison type. It manipulates the chemical makeup of its poison to produce electricity. The voltage is weak, but it can cause a tingling paralysis. What? I don't know what to call you. You look like a... Ah, I can switch you for Yamper, because you're electric and poison. I do need poison to take on fairy types. Ah, I can't want to see what Yamper evolves into. Oh my god, the choices. These Pokemon are coming out of nowhere. And, but, like, mate, the designs. The designs and the ideas. Electric and poison? Electric and poison. Grass and dragon. What is going on, Pokemon? Um, see, Yamper's been a good girl. She's been a really good girl. I really want to keep her on the team. I really, I really do. But electric poison is like, what am I to do with that? What am I to do? What can I do? It's a gift Pokemon, but uh, nah, nah, sorry. Tox Tox. Like I need more. <laughs> what is that Pokemon? Oh, welcome. Is there anything you'd like to know about? Uh, no. Electric and poison. Crazy. Okay, do I go this way? I don't go. I just come that way, haven't I? Let's go this way. Let's uh, heal up the team first. Hello, Drifloon. Ghost and flying type. Let's catch you. Uh, from Generation 4 was a traumatising Pokemon because you found out that little kids would grab onto Drifloon and Drifloon would just float away with those kids. Never to be seen again. Terrifying. Yamper, you're now 24. Please evolve. <laughs> Balloon Pokemon. The discovering of many souls give rise to this Pokemon. During the humid seasons, they seem to appear in abundance. Terrifying. Cute little terrifying balloon Pokemon. Yamper, why haven't you evolved yet? What could you possibly be hiding? Applin, man. Grass Dragon. The poison electric type, because you're going up against you're going you're soon to be up against a water type gym. It's like giving you like I don't you're gonna give me a Pokemon. Like, as you're just asking me to win. Like I'm having trouble anyway, but still. What's going on here with Team Yell? Oi, just under that bike already. We needed to cross this long bridge. We're going to use that bike to chase around gym challenges. It'll be a scream. How about Barrack? It won't work anyway. You don't even have a Rotom with you. Hey, young gym challenger, they're trying to steal my bike. Please, if you could give them a good thrashing, I would be in your debt. Yes, sir, Mr. Doctor Man. You a surgeon? What is this guy? <laughs> Oi, we're not trying to steal the bike, only borrow it. We're gonna use it after gym challenges, chase, use it to chase after gym challenges and make them all tired. But I'm thinking you deserve a special shout out. I'm gonna crush you in a battle. Team Yell up to their usual old tricks. Here comes the Zigzagoon. Normal and dark type. Spark should be able to handle it. A lick, unless it, yeah, paralyzes me, but didn't. Level 17, because it's been taken down in one hit by my level 24 Yamper. <laughs> Tr 
Truval? Trevil? Trevil? What is this Pokemon? Feeble. Oh, evolution of Nickit. Dark Fox. Okay. Uh, Dark Fire, maybe? Um, what to do? I could switch to Wulu and give it a double kick. Dark are weak against. Are Dark weak against Bug? It's Dark weak against. You would. Okay, Wulu. <laughs> Fox meets sheep. <laughs> this is probably not a bad matchup. Here comes beat up. But Wulu can take the hits. Look at that. Uh, double kick it. You snarl. Ow. Come on, Wulu. Special attack fail. That's fine. Normally it's foxes that take down sheep, but you're going to take this one down. Well, wolves, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Fox in sheep clothing, wolf in sheep clothing, yeah, you know. Come on, Wulu. That's my big sheep. Yeah, what well a Wulu. What does Wulu evolve into? Let's find out. It's been Tim Yell Grunt. We're Team Yell. We, we get up in the faces of trainers. You do indeed. Gah, you crushed my attempt to crush you. Why you? I want that bike. Don't get in my way. Team Yell Grunt. So now Sableye. Ghost Dark type? Uh... Yeah, gonna be neutral. Quick or hit. Nice, Yamper. What well on? I'm distracted by that bike. Otherwise, there's no way I'd lose to a yellow belly like you. Yellow belly? Who are you calling yellow? You're too strong. If you stay in the gym challenge, you're going to cause problems for our lady. You haven't seen The Last of Us. We're going to make sure you stay out of our lady's way. I keep losing the accent and impressions. My word, you're quite the trainer. And I see you have a Pokedex too. That means you have a Rotom with you. Fantastic. I think I'll give you this bike to you then. Better you have it than Team Yell. Now, you know what Rotom love, mo love motors very, very much, right? Enough to jump right into machines that have motors. So they, that got me thinking. If I attached a motor to a bicycle, then maybe I can get a Rotom to pop into that as well. Right. Come on now. Give it a shot. Enjoy stacking together with Rotom to the fullest. Chop, chop. Come on now. You and Rotom ride that bicycle together. We obtained a Rotom bike. Awesome. I'll read the manual. Press the plus button or minus button to ride your bike with Rotom. Let's get cycling. I like how I instantly have protective gear and a Rotom outfit that just appears out of nowhere and it sparks with electricity. But I have a bike now. Yay! Just pressing A to do anything. B. So B makes me speed up. Cool. Slow down, slow down, slow down. All right. There's an item here somewhere. I just saw it. There, there it is. Resist feather. Huh, cool. What's the problem with those teamy hell goons? I can understand wanting to cheer someone on, but they cause so much trouble in the process. Hardly a decent way for fans to behave. Indeed you're right, madam. Let's ride my bike. <laughs> <laughs> if you press the left stick down, it rings a bell. That is awesome. It's nice in here, though. The, that big building you see in the distance is Hammerlock Stadium. You're going to battle there, too. That's very cool. Look at it. Look at that wild area. It's so huge. There you are, Ronnie. Hop. I'm warning you, though. 
Any closer than that, and we're going to have a battle, you and me. Okay, think I'm ready for anything you throw at me, Hop. Let's go. I warned you, we're both gym challengers who've earned a, ourselves a grass badge. This is the perfect training. Challenge Hop on this giant bridge. Let's go. Of course, still has his Wooloo. <laughs> Let's have a taste of what a gym, holder, gym badge holder's team can do. You're level 18, Hop. Come on, man. Uh, you know what? Bring it. Wooloo on Wooloo. I mean, not like that. That would be terrible. Terrifying. Ah, see? You also have double kick. And you landed a crit. I may have made a grave miss error, but we are more powerful than you. That's okay, I've learned loads from studying from Lee's battles. You finally learned tight matchups. Good on you. Um, double kick. Now, is he going to do double kick again? Typical, should have known you master tight matchups. You've said this already pop a million times. Use tackle, okay. No, he could have just easily gone for double kick then. <laughs> Gonna use a super potion though, like a cheap ass, cheap, um, cheap bum. Restore is okay, fine. Come on, Wooloo, get a crit. Yeah, our Wooloo's better than your Wooloo. Corvus Squire go to level 24. He's own Corvus Squire. Let's switch back to... Let's switch to Dreadnought. Rock Tomb. Let's go. Nice one hit KO. The Amber could level le uh, leveled up. Now Drizzle. Let's send out Whacky, because I assume this is going to be his evolved Pokemon. His evolved Sobble. If one of my Pokemon is an ace, there is no problem at all. Except you're losing. <laughs> Drizzle. Awesome. Look at that thing. Uh, yeah, Magical Leaf. Use Bind. Voided. Nice. Well done, Fracky. Oh, we took it down in one hit. Let's fish it with Branch Poke. Have a taste of our true power. This is wave is going to crash right over you. Branch Poke. And down goes Drizzle. Lizard, Drizzle, yeah, I get it. <laughs> Wacky grew to level 24. Nice. I want to learn knock off. It knocks off an item? Uh... Nah, we're good. And we'll go to level 24. Will it evolve? <laughs> We've both got ourselves the same grass badge, so how come you're so much stronger? Because I have more than three Pokemon. <gasps> but Yamper is evolving! What? Yamper is evolving! Finally! Look at you! Yamper evolved into Boltoned. Boltoned? Boltoned. Dauschland, Boltoned. That's awesome. Just a pure electric type. Man. It says so actually running for its legs to boost their strength. Running at top speed, it easily breaks 50 miles per hour. <gasps> and Wooloo is finally evolving. 
What do you become? <laughs> what do you possibly become? Double, double. Look at you. What type? Just a normal sheep type. Oh, its majestic horns are meant only to impress the opposite gender. They never see use in battle. But Wooloo finally evolved. <laughs> You've gone strong, Ronnie. Seems I've got to train even harder from now on. And we obtained a revive. Thank you, Hop. Next up is Nessa, the lead of the water gym. Wow. Let's check out our team. Boltland. Good boy. Good girl, even. Yeah, our speed shot up. Our attack is way high. Strong jaw. Boost power of biting moves. Cool. Double. Pokemon's determination boost the speed stat each time the Pokemon flinches. Interesting. But it's just a pure normal type. Where's the fun in that? Like, you, you gave me electric poison and grass dragon. Like... I've had it's not like I, I've got Dreadnought now I've got Water Rock to take on Electric is good against oh man I'm going to have to rethink my team I'm going to have to rethink my team because Electric and Normal like if it was normal fighting or normal something that would have been really cool um, if it was Electric and Dark, at least that's something. It doesn't evolve one more time, does it? Because that electric poison type is now looking a lot better. <laughs> Let's get on our bike and switch. I'm really sorry, Boltland. I mean... You've been on this for quite a while. Yampa was pretty awesome, but just a pure electric type. Not very interesting. Now you, Toxel, on the other hand. Very interesting. I've had an electric dog before in the past. Uh, on my previous Let's Play of Pokemon Mega Ruby, I used Manectric. Uh, awesome Pokemon. It is a really cool Pokemon, don't get me wrong, but I just think Electric Poison is way more interesting. I mean, yes, it was given to us. We didn't catch it ourselves, but you know what? It's way more interesting. And Dubwool, yeah, I'm a big Wooloo fan, um, but just a pure normal type. Just a pure normal type, not very interesting. Um... I don't know if I'm going to trade in for you. I would have traded in, like... Like, maybe Meowth, because he's a steel type. Because you're quite low level. Let's give Yamper a final send-off. Double, you've been amazing. But just a normal type. Kind of ba bad. Uh. That joke was kind of bad too. Um, so Toxel, let's add you to the team. And Boltland's going to train you up and help you train to become awesome. What moves do you have? You electric poison type thing, you. Rattled, dark ghost and bug type moves scare the Pokemon and boost its speed stat. Awesome. You know Nuzzle, Growflow and Acid. Which is great. I, uh, fairy type Pokemon have been a pain in my butt. Uh, resist Feather. Awesome. Oh! Eldegoss! Eldegoss! 
Yeah, go Bolton. Uh, you're a grass. Mm, not very effective. Okay, let's just bite you then. Level 22. Could use a quick ball on you, probably. Oh, I'll sing. Just use an awakening, please. One more bite and then we'll throw a pickleball at it. Okay. Just a great ball then. And down, uh, and <laughs> gotcha. Elder Goss was cool. I'm not down goes. Didn't faint it. Dreadnought grew to level 24. Dollar grew to level 24. Team is coming nicely together. Cotton Bloom Pokemon. The cotton on the head of this Pokemon can be spun into glossy, gorgeous yarn, a gala regional spe speciality. Excellent. Now we have an Elder Goss. So many more Pokemon on this route, and Stuffle, and Spritzy, and this trainer. Work to raise good points of a Pokemon. Don't don't worry about it. its bad points. <laughs> oh, see? I worried about the bad points of Wooloo, and now the game is coming back to bite me in the butt. <laughs> Sheruby. Uh, cool Squire. Haven't seen much love recently. Gonna perform Leafage because it's a pure grass type evolution of uh, something we thought earlier. I can't remember. Truby, very cute Pokemon. So that Woobat. Hmm, you know what? Let's send out, for the first time ever, Toxel. Now it is flying and psychic, so this in the long run might not be a great idea. But you know what? Critical hit. And that... It, we paralysed it, but it... Toxel, this is where you need to learn from Boltland. Down goes Wulu, uh, Woo Bat even. Top screw to level 18. I accept that I lost, but I'm not going to let it bother me that much. Three X special attacks? Okay. Uh, shall we see what Pokemon we can catch? Or.
We've got a lot of Pokemon on this route anyway. Keep this to yourself, but I'm having Pokemon to help with my ho with my work. Office worker Gab Gabrielle. Which Pokemon are you using? Krogunk? Uh, pretty sure it's just a poison type, but it might be water type. Pretty sure it's a poison type, but okay. One hit KO. Nice, Boltland. You're a trainer who's stronger than me and the Pokemon that can do my work. What do you do? Pokemon pet me. Oh. Pokemon that appear to be surrounded by a brilliant aura tend to be stronger than others, and when you defeat them, they drop what? Cool. And here we are. At our new town. The town of Holbury. There's that elephant Pokemon. I want to catch you. Don't know what that black thing is, but I want to find out what it is. And there's the water gym. Okay, let's head to the Pokemon Center first. Welcome to the town of Holbury, a bustling seaport that many visit to see its lively market stalls and fame restaurant. Okay, and I think in the next part, we will... Ooh, something interesting going on over there. We'll find out what's going on next time in part eight. But for now, in this part, we have journeyed across... Route 5, where we caught a whole bunch of brand new Pokemon like Aplin, a Grass Dragon type, and we were given a brand new Pokemon in Toxel, a Electric and Poison type. Crazy. Dreadnor Evolved. Um, uh, Tutor Evolved into Dreadnor. Dub uh, Wooloo Evolved into Dublu. And... Finally, Yampa evolved into Boltland, and we'll be using this team, Boltland of Toxel and Fwacky, to take on the water gym in the now, now, we, now, now that we've arrived in the next town. And next time, we'll be exploring this brand new town, the town of uh, Holbury, the seaside port of Holbury, and we'll be exploring it and take it on the water gym next time. But for now, I have been the one and only, and there's no boy I'd rather be, and you've been watching part seven of my Let's Play of Pokemon Shield for Nintendo Switch. Don't forget to give a like, comment, share, and subscribe for more. See you next time, trainers.